Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City Four, and today I'll be reviewing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Alpha version. And the reason why I want to review the Alpha version right now is because the beta version is about to come out in a few hours. So why not tell you guys what I think about this game so far? And before we get into the topic, I just want to do like a little disclaimer or you know a little bit of a heads up. You know, I am going to review a lot of negative parts about this game, and I don't want you guys to be thinking that I'm a hater. I mean, I've been playing Call of Duty since like Black Ops One, and I've been picking up every single card after that, so I can tell the differences between them. And uh, also, I'm hoping the developers do make the game a lot better along the months. You know, I'm hoping for them to reach their goal and make the game the best one of the franchise. So I do not wish them for failure at all. So anyways, uh, moving on with the first review uh, part, it will be about the gameplay because this is one of the biggest things that changed from uh, you know, from the transition of Black Ops 4 to what it is now. So uh, I feel like the multiplayer portion of it was made by Sledgehammer Games. It does not feel like a traditional Treyarch game at all. I mean, you can tell by the sliding mechanic and by the throwing mechanic. You slide around, it doesn't feel smooth at all. It feels like you're teleporting forward, which is pretty awkward and also it gets super blurry every time you slide so you can take off motion blur and it still looks super blurry i don't understand why they went with this but the sliding mechanic it does not feel smooth at all it feels like it's enforced it feels like they don't have any kind of experience of how to make a sliding mechanic so it doesn't feel right to be honest the sliding mechanic i hated it so much in the alpha stage another thing also the throwing mechanic it doesn't feel right either uh, every time you throw a flashbang, I mean, it throws it from the chest out. So when it does that, the flashbang is already like halfway down your screen. Like it's half halfway down the throw. Like it's super weird. It's like it teleports out of your head and then it goes to the place where you want to throw it. So it's like super weird. I didn't like it. I feel like they just ruined it or something. Like, I don't know, but I'm hoping they do improve on it. That's one of the biggest things that I just, I am concerned of because it doesn't look good at all. And the grenade throw, I'm guessing that we're going for more realism because I understand that Call of Duty, you know, Black Ops or Treyarch right now is like super anti-grenade. I mean, you can go back to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and you can see there was like barely anybody using grenades because there wasn't enough space for that. So, um... Going into Cold War, it feels like they went more into the realism throw because now it does pull the pin, moves the arm back like a little bit too slow, and then throws the grenade. Like it seems off. Like I don't know, man. It feels like a robot is throwing it, not a human being. So that was off. It wasn't smooth, a smooth throw at all. And it's like one second late compared to Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare throws it real smooth, have no problem with that. But like moving into this game, it seems way off. So I don't know, man. I didn't like the throwing mechanic and the sliding mechanic. Uh, the climbing mechanic it doesn't seem to bother me at all. I think it still looks the same as the previous one. So um, I have nothing to say about that. Uh, crouching and anything else, I mean, it all looks the same to me on that. Even sprinting too. So, uh, transition between sprinting and shooting, it hasn't changed much really, uh, it just depends on your connection, how good it is, if you're one second behind, of course you're gonna struggle a little bit, so, any other motion, I mean, there's no problem with it, it's just up to you if you feel different from it, but my biggest concerns right now were the throwing and the sliding mechanics of this game. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about will be the maps, um, I feel like Miami was the worst map of the bunch. Even though it looks like the map they put the most effort in. I swear to God, dude. Like, I played in every single map. The ground war maps, the 6v6 maps. And I swear to God, Miami was the worst one of the bunch. And even look, it looks good and all, but it's the worst one. The center part of the map is literally no man's land. The outside parts of the maps are literally there, but they feel like it could be a single map itself. Like, I don't know what they were going for here, but there's no flow to it. There's no flow. It's boring. Every time you play Team Deathmatch or you know, kill confirm, the match never finishes because <laughs> nobody can find themselves at all. You can barely find an enemy in the whole map. So it doesn't seem right, like how they made this map. It could have been better if they would have chopped out some parts of the maps and it would have been better. And um, I don't know why they made it like this, but it is the worst map of the whole pack. The other maps, they look bland as hell, but at least they're like right below average. This one is it was just boring and ugly. <laughs> I didn't like it. It's like they just threw up on the floor and call it Piccadilly 2.0. Pretty much. I didn't like this map. If you like if you guys like then I guess go for it. But I'm not I don't like this map at all, man. I never I didn't freaking like it. Even though I did get in this gameplay in the background, this is one of many that I actually just I just like fuck it, you know, I just wanna go out there and do Rambo mode or whatever. So uh so yeah, like I just didn't like this map even though I did good on some of them. Um, anyways, 
Another thing that happened is that the kill streaks are now rechargeable, which means you can only call them at a certain time. Um, I don't know why they did this, and even if, even though you die also, the kill streaks do not reset. Why? Who thought this was a good idea, dude? They're not specialist specials. There's kill streaks. So even if you do get like your seven kills for your kill streak, it will not be ready for you for for you to use at all. You have to wait till it recharges, and then you can use the kill streak. Why? That was horrible, bro. I didn't like any of that. So just leave it traditional. Nobody's nobody's messing around with the kill streaks. Nobody's complaining about how traditional it was back in the day or what it is now. Why all of a sudden it, it turned into like a charging meter? Like that's horrible. And now that means like if you die, there's no consequences because you don't lose your kill streaks. It's just completely stupid. That was one of the biggest minuses of the whole game. Like, why would you even mess around with that? Just leave it how it is. You get three kills, boom, you get a spy plane, you know? No, you have to wait till the freaking thing recharges and then you call in a spy plane. Which means you can only call in like very few spy planes in the whole match. Because you gotta wait for the meter to recharge. I mean, you can see it right now in the gameplay in the background. You can see the little meter like going up little by little on the kill streaks. So, uh, it, that was just complete utter bs and i didn't like it at all um another thing speaking of more features of the game uh they removed the gunsmith from modern warfare which means you cannot customize weapons during the gameplay uh, this is literally like like two steps back already man like they don't they don't they mess around with the kill streaks they mess around with the slider mechanics and now they're messing around with this man like why just just i don't know man this, I, I liked it. I liked how we can switch attachments during the gameplay. We made it re revolutionary. You don't waste time going back to the menu, switching the gun, and then going back to the gameplay because now it, it would act better. Like, let us customize our gun during the game. Modern Warfare had it right. That was completely revolutionary in the whole franchise. Why would they take it away? I don't know. But I have a feeling the future games is no longer coming back just because of this one move. Uh, hopefully not though. I'm hoping it does come back in the future. I like the gunsmith during the game. So that was a big minus right there again. Like a lot of things changed going from Modern Warfare to what it is now. Um, another thing is the, the special effects like explosions and uh, grenade bouncing. Dude, like it was ugly. Speaking more things about grenades, like the grenades were not even roll around. It just stays in place. So when you throw the grenade, it just bounces in place, and that's it. It stays there. It doesn't roll around. It doesn't go like some kind of curvy kind of like route. It just stays put. You're not throwing a hockey putt. You're throwing a round object, which allows them to roll around. I don't know where they come up with this, but that was an ugly special, man. Ugly special effect or animation, whatever you want to call it. Like that was one of my biggest concerns. Like why wouldn't it just roll around, man? Instead of st staying in one place, like. It just gives me, it gives me the thought of I shouldn't even throw grenades at this point. <laughs> they, 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 they pretty much proved their message. They became anti-grenade in this whole damn situation. So uh, I didn't like that, man. A lot of things are wrong with the alpha stage right now. So I'm hoping they do improve it along the way. Um, so yeah, guys, that's what I think about the alpha stage. Uh, the weapons are good, though. I have no problem with the weapons. What I do have a problem with, though. I'm not actually, never mind. I mean, there's still more attachments to unlock. Not the not all the attachments were unlocked from the beginning, so I'm hoping the rest of the attachments do get the weapons better and and everything. The weapon selection is not that bad either, so I have no problem with the weapons at all. I feel like they, they're really they really have a lot of potential to really become the best weapon out there. So I have to like wait to the full game for that. But um, you know, after naming some of the th the things so far in the game. It makes me think like I don't want to play it. Like I just don't want to play Call of Duty Cold War or whatever. I, I just it doesn't seem right. I mean I even played the 12 versus 12 where the ground war mode it doesn't seem right either. The tanks are super weak, like super super freaking weak, dude. Like they're made out of they're made out of paper or something. I don't know what's wrong with it. you. Can shoot a whole clip with an FMJ on your LMG, and it explodes within 50 bullets. 50. You can even do it out of the assault rifle too. It's so weak, bro. The snipers. Oh my god, the snipers. This is the problem that we had in Black Ops 2 and in Black Ops 3. Because that Black Ops 3, I know they nerfed all the SMGs so bad that you cannot even keep up with the snipers. They did it again with this game. 
but all the guns still work the problem is the snipers are too op they aim too fast way too fast so when you try to beat out a sniper you can't because your weapons are not strong enough to keep up with it so it's another annoying thing in the game that should not even be part of it modern warfare had it right the aiming speed was right in modern warfare i don't know why they took it's a lot of things bro a lot of things i'm hoping the game gets better i'm hoping the batches do a big difference in the game because if it keeps going i am i'm skipping this year i don't know